let's look at how to do exception handling. First of all, I'm going to create a function and this function is going to do regular integer division and I want it to be able to handle the divide by zero from prevent from crashing. So I'm going to include the std except library, which gives me exception handling classes and things like that. So first of all, that's in there. Next, I'm going to create my integer division. So int divide, pass in an int numerator and an int denominator. And all I wanna do is just return whatever the numerator divided by the denominator is. So that'll be return n divided by d. All right, now down here in my main program, I want to have, I just wanna call this. So I'm gonna have an integer numerator, which is gonna be 10 and an integer denominator denominator which is going to be zero and I'm going to display the contents of this so I'll do a C out and I'm going to say that n uh, divided by my D actually it's a num for numerator by the denominator is equal to my answer. So I have an answer. And I need to find that one. And then I'll have my and L. All right. And then I have int answer. And let's go ahead and set the answer equal to my divide function, passing in my numerator and my denominator. All right, so as we know right now, because I'm taking 10 divided by zero, it should be not good. So we'll go ahead and run this. Run my code and it says something. Didn't really seem to do stuff, it kind of didn't work. And you can't really tell what happened really. It's just, I don't know. So now we want to put in some exception handling. So they fine. If, my denominator equals zero, then I want to throw an exception and I can use the throw keyword to do that. So you throw and then I can tell it what exception I'm throwing or even a number or anything. So I will throw, um, let's do a logic error. So a standard logic error. I could do standard exception or something else like that. And I can pass in a message um, right here, so cannot divide by zero. All right, so then I go ahead and say, that's great. Now we'll run this code. And instead of it crashing and I have no idea what happened, it says terminate called after throwing an instance of standard logic error and then what cannot divide by zero. So at least now I know what happened. But I don't want it to actually crash. I want it to run and just display a message that says you cannot divide by zero. So how do I do that? Well, first of all, I'm going to take this answer thing and I'm going to put this into a try statement. So try, so I'm going to try some stuff and see if it works. And if it gets an exception, it can then handle that exception and be okay. And I'll do a catch statement is here. And I'm going to catch the exception. So I can do standard and I could do the type of exception. I could list um, logic error right here, or I could just do an exception. Uh, exception. And I'm going to pass it the address of just X for exception, which allows me to then use it in here. And so now I'm going to print out instead of crashing, I'm going to say, uh, except exception error. And I can even pass in what the error message was. So that's ex dot what, and I can then 
have my end of line right here. All right, so what this will do is it will try to divide this. And if it succeeds, it will do the next line right here. If not, it will jump down here, catch the exception and display exception error and tell me what the error was. So let's go ahead and run this code. You can see now it says exception error cannot divide by zero because it caught the exception and was able to handle it properly. This is how you can prevent things from breaking. You can throw an exception and then once the exception is handled, you can have your code gracefully continue on. Maybe you tell people you can't divide by zero, you blank something out or whatever you do, but allows your code to continue running without crashing your entire program. Anyway, this is exceptions.